Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's been a while since we've been home home, so perhaps we should check out the TV. And really, nobody wants those big bulky masses anymore. Exactly, I mean, do they have any idea what year this is? Today's world, a large wallet simply will not cut it. Pockets are shrinking and so are wallets. We use debit cards now. With today's technology, we are able to recreate wallets with three, sometimes only two, card slots. Whoa! <laughs> And there you think else. Now that's impressive. Simply magnificent. <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Alright, so su supposedly we need a much longer drive to win the Tidy Park Tournament, according to Coach. I highly disagree with that, so we're just gonna go, <laughs> gonna go ahead and enter the Tidy Park Tournament and probably win it. <laughs> I mean, sure, a Max Jarrett will probably drive the green some, but he probably will not be able to play as steady as I will. And we're live at yet another tournament, Mike! Indeed, and I'm sure that the, the question on everyone's lips is... Why are we covering this event? <laughs> After all, who cares what a bunch of old golfers get up to? Precisely. However, this tournament might actually prove exciting this year. We have a word that Max Yars will be gracing us with his presence. Exciting stuff indeed. Speaking of which, I have the man right here. Max, what is it that drew you to this tournament? I just want to have a good match, Mike. The purpose of the Pro Tour is to seek out competition wherever it lies and shut it down. Nobody here today even deserves to see the Pro Tour as a spectator, let alone a competitor. Um... I disagree again! <laughs> I disagree with a lot of characters. Harsh words, Max. But I do happen to agree with you. Oh, come on. Let's see what happens on the first team now. Well, it's a par 3, so you should be able to make the green. You're a much better golfer than Max. And Max Eco, so I'm sure you'll win this. Especially since I'm not playing at all. <laughs> that means a lot coming from you. Yes, it does. That one. That I agree with. <laughs> coming from pink, that is huge. You've certainly never hidden your true feelings from me. Stop the presses! I've just been given word that Max Jarrett is about to tee off. Yes, yes, because he is the top golfer. I'm rolling my eyes, but you can't see me roll my eyes. I repeat, Max Jarrett is about to tee off. This course is a joke. I don't think I have a club short enough for this hole. In fact, I think I might just putt it. <laughs> Marry me! <laughs> Trophy's gonna look great in my trash can. <laughs> oh, there's getting the whole purse, which is on every single tournament on TV. <laughs> so, you, what a snob. So, he's in the tournament, but doesn't care if he wins the tournament. Does anyone seriously buy into that? Okay, how are you feeling? Eh, yeah, pretty good. Did you see that pivot? <laughs> what? He pivots like a pro. I can't compete with that. Yes, you can. I disagree once again! I'm just some amateur, I have no idea what I'm doing. Why did I think I could compete at this level? I'm going to crash and burn. Pull yourself together! Pink is here for you. If you manage to beat me, you can beat this guy. You're right. I can do this. Teddy, hand me my putter. <laughs> Not the putter! I hope I wouldn't be overstepping my bounds to suggest you perhaps employ a lofted club. Yes! Lofted club indeed, just like I said when I first played it. It's quite long, and fairways can be a tricky thing to get a good read on. Of course, what was I thinking? Alright, it looks like it's on now. Tidy Park Gentlemen's Tournament, even though that the... That, what who I'm guessing that I have to beat and is going to be at like the top of the leaderboard is not a gentleman whatsoever. Let's do it! Start out with ye ol' par 3, and we probably got our antique clubs once again. Yes, we do! So, we have no choice but to just use our lower distance, lower spin, lower everything, and beat the poop out of him. <laughs> I think we'll be just fine. And yes, these, this is the place that has the really weird greens, that they have overgrown greens like rough greens here so we're gonna have to try and get as close as we can to ensure that we can get ourselves some good scores on it so let's see the tournament standings max there is the two under but he's through five holes yeah i think we're gonna win <laughs> let's see who else is playing this out oh jerome is in 
<laughs> yes, of course he would be. After we found him practicing for hours on end that he lost track of time, shut himself in his hidden room for days. He's in the tournament, but his practice did not pay off. <laughs> okay, so for the sake of birdie badges, I did not get one here, so I should probably try and get one here. I noticed that you can skip the ball on top of the water to some extent, so maybe I should play into the water like I am, uh... Well, I wasn't playing into the water, but that turned out fine. I was gonna say play into the water like I'm landing it in rough and skipping it across. So yeah, I think that is the, the better way to play the hole, uh, now that I thought about it. So that is the way to go. Let's hit our jigger and get it up in the holer. Hopefully. Oh yeah! <laughs> We are already in first place! <laughs> Sorry, Max Yard. <laughs> he didn't qualify. Well, I was gonna say, we are already in first place unless he gets a birdie, but he did not get a birdie. <laughs> we, well, I guess we would have been tied for first place, which is still technically first place, but. Alright. Looking good so far. So, the only two holes I need to get badges on are the last two, so. We're, pl we're cleaning up things pretty nicely here. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm gonna play it safe like I did before, hitting down there. That Getting your ball into the puddles is a very devastating thing to your score, I have to say. Because it's very hard to get out of the puddles because that lower distance, so you can't really, like, really mess with it too much. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out to the hole with our brassy, and she's off! She is... oh, she's... That was... wow, that rollout. <laughs> I didn't think it would roll out that much because the, the green is rough again, but it just bounced over everything. Oh, well, our 8-yard range is going to have to do... I, I'm probably better off over-hitting than under-hitting because I want to be at least on the quote-unquote green. Oh! Or not. Ooh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. Although... Uh, what if I... What if I... Can I putt for that distance? Maybe. <laughs> sure looks like I might be able to. Maybe. I guess I could try it. E hmm, I don't know if that would have been better than a chip, but... <laughs> okay, I flubbed this one. I admit, I flubbed this one. <laughs> I and mean, yeah, it was a, it was still a par, but I could have been a whole lot better. Ooh, he birdied! Oh no! Oh no! We're we're threatened. <laughs> but yeah, that was a lot of floundering. That could have been an easy birdie, but alas, alas. Um, yeah, this course really is definitely a very short course, even for our antique clubs. Could I, could you imagine what I could do with my skimming woods with all this water? At least I think the skimming woods would uh, skip across that water a lot, uh, better than the typical, but could be wrong, I don't know. Anyway, let's use the rudder, a club completely unique to this game, and get it near the hole. There we go. And I should be able to make this. If I can't, I should probably just give up now. Alright. There we go. Four on there. Oh, Max is at four. Holy poopers. He's running away with it along with me. But I am, uh, I've played less holes than he has, so, uh, best of luck with that, Max Yards. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna probably play a lot more consistently than he is throughout the tournament, and that's probably gonna give me, oops, probably gonna give me the edge overall. Yeah, that was rough to not slow it down as much as I thought it would, but... Oh, oh, oh! The, I'm hitting through the tree! That's why it's going such a short distance. So if I go, like, a little curvy curve... Aha! Something like that, a little... A little... Back spin... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on, oh, we got something here, we got something! <laughs> I think we got something. Yeah, let's try that. And it should go decently close to the hole, I think. Yeah, that'll do. I know it's deep rough because the greens are overgrown, but still, I think it will do. I don't know how hard I should hit this, though. Probably pretty hard, because deep rough. Oh! Oh! 
I was just like teetering on the edge. <laughs> and we're ahead of Max Yards. Oh, Max is finished at four under, so as long as I get powers on all the last holes, and you know I'm gonna be just going for birdies like usual, I will be uh, the victor of this, it looks like. But yeah, Max Yards is the only one that shot under par the whole thing. Everyone else. Overpower, including the Jerome, who could not stop practicing for days on end. I really was expecting Jerome to play a lot better if he was shutting himself in his room for that long. But alas, it was not meant to be. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to have some spin to that because I want—I don't want it to roll out too far. I just want it to hit the rough and. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, can I put out of that? I, mean, I know I say that a lot, but can I put out of that for realsies this time? Because it's pretty short. I think I'm, oh, I think I would have hit that. Hmm, I don't know. I was going to say, if I would have hit that at max, maybe it would have worked just fine, but I assume that that would have been too much, but it wasn't. It wasn't. But there's my safe par. And so the last two holes are the ones I need birdies on anyway, so I'll be trying really hard to get those. And oh, it actually saves my position on the board. I thought it would reset me to the top every time I come here, but no! No, it left me down by Jerome. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm on uh, hole 7, not the last two holes. Whoopsie doodle. So we're still not on uh, the, the birdie train that we need to be on anyway, so we're okay. <laughs> Just gonna kind of knock it back power-wise, let it roll on the fairway nicely. Okie dokie. So what was, that co what was that about coach saying that you need the power to win the tournament? You know, you need that distance. Sure, Max did, you know, you can j I mean that uh, other pro guy did drive the green, but uh, well, <laughs> that, that was probably just like one shot out of all of them. That was... A, a good shot, I guess you could say. <laughs> that, that really made a difference to the end scores. Like, look at that! <laughs> I remember he was also saying that uh, if he's putting and I'm chipping, he's gonna win. Nope! <laughs> I can just chip it in sometimes. Just like if I, my fine putting, sometimes I'll make it, sometimes you won't. So, okay, this was the one that I didn't get a birdie on. So I, I'm guessing that I had some horrendous trouble along the way somewhere, so... This time, we play it as safe as possible, I guess? Maybe? Hmm, maybe that's what I did the first time, thinking I had a lot more fairway there, and there wasn't. No, I, and actually, no, I'm okay. Um, actually, I'm, I think I'm more than okay. I just need to get behind the hole, if anything. And then I should be alright with the whole uh, rollout dealio going on there. Or, 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 that'll do too. <laughs> so will this be a birdie? It better be a birdie. <laughs> nice. Okay, one more birdie badge to go, and it's on the ninth hole. I, th I think I got this tournament won, guys. And, uh, but I'm st I still want that last birdie badge, if possible. Birdie medal, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, this is actually a pretty simple looking hole. I don't know how I didn't get a birdie this one. Although maybe I'm underestimating the difficulty of this hole. Like, we're gonna see, I guess. Just kinda hit it short, roll her out. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good to me, I would say. Uh, I think so. Knock it down to a putter. And I think max power will be fine. Yeah. Oh. Well, there goes my birdie! <laughs> I'll have to replay the course sometime in the future, which I was probably gonna- Oops! Probably what it was gonna do anyway. I thought that was plenty of power that time, but alas, it was not. So I overhit, then underhit. And that's how the bogeys happen. Eh, yeah, seven under is fine. I, I, I got it by three shots. <laughs> that's right, if I can beat Pink, I can beat Max Yards. Woo! So I only got 50 bucks for winning that tournament. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll get some more stuff. Oh, no! They're, then they're probably gonna steal my winnings again. Can you believe what we just have witnessed, Mike? Absolutely not. He must have cheated. Like Lucky, an amateur has stolen the championship and will now be regarded as a pro. Woo! But we'll get to that in a bit. 
<laughs> First, Tucker has an exclusive interview with Maxiar. It's today's loser. Sure. Of course, he gets the interview first. Max, you are our last line of defense of keeping this man on the Pro Tour. <laughs> Do you think you've let yourself with a Pro Tour down more? I posted a winning score out there today, Mike. I'm Tucker. Ah, listen, Mike, I'm a heavy weapon. <laughs> Bring this novice to Blue Moon Dunes, and the course will eat him alive. I look forward to seeing him sink in a professional setting. And he may just sink quite a few, as he turned out to be a pretty good putter today. Except for that last hole. Which begs the question, Mike, do we still dislike him? Yes, we do, I guess. I continue to reserve my judgment. Mixing it up, we now move on to third place. Dusty, you t Yep, skipping me entirely. You took eight strokes more than second place today. It's a win for the pocketbook, but I imagine the circumstances must bring with them a decent amount of shame. How do you justify today's takings, even given that poor, per, poor performance? <clears throat> Thanks, Mike. I don't hit him far, but I do hit him straight. That usually gets me through these things. Today I played everything safe and didn't take any chances, and in the end it paid off. Well, apparently not, as you didn't win. Or, or beat second place or first place. <laughs> Tucker, caught my, I caught maybe half of that. <laughs> really, <laughs> technical difficulties. Dusty, any other year you would have won this. You find yourself resenting the younger, more skilled players from taking it from you. Indeed, I've won this tournament. I mean, I've won this event twelve times now, and I were greatly looking forward to the thirteenth. His kids and their fancy swings have hurt the game in. And there you have it. <laughs> That's all for today, folks. <laughs> this has been Mike, bringing you, amongst other things, the ravings of an old man. What about me? I, I'm not going to get interviewed. Now, can you please get back to the studio? Thanks once again, Mike, for your detailed reporting. Well, it's getting to be almost too familial a sight. <laughs> the unskilled amateur has taken first place yes, yet again. Yes. Unskilled amateur just keeps taking first place. Yes, of course. They <laughs> still call me the unskilled amateur. You declined the comment last time, but I did not! <laughs> but today I'm hoping I can get something out of him. Okay, we got an interview. Actually, you didn't let me talk last time. An interesting answer for sure. <laughs> Dang it! Any final words, Mike? Indeed, Tucker. What we witnessed today was a complete disrespect for the sport and deceit at the highest level. No. If this is where golf is headed, Tucker. Count me in! <laughs> Taking that game in a bold new direction. How do you think I came across in the press conference? <laughs> Terrible, he didn't let me let you talk. You are fine, but the real work will be done online. <laughs> are you sure that's the best use of our time? Who cares about that anyway? We get to go to Blue Moon Dunes now. Wait, we? You're, you weren't in the tournament. You're not technically a pro. Or are you? You guys are all coming? You can't be a pro without a team. You guys would do that? For me? But none of you wanted to be my caddy. That's because being a caddy is degrading. R right, of course. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> is it degrading? I don't know. I don't think so. Just helping out. Let's go to Blue Moon Dunes. At first, we need to celebrate. No way. Not after what you got us into last time. I have lessons booked this afternoon. I'm catching up with my son tonight. So, yep was indeed his son, just as I said, but joked about that it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was, definitely. Okay. There might still be some television commercials I haven't seen yet, I guess. <laughs> Meet us at Blue Moon Dunes first thing tomorrow. Woo! Got two things attached, I guess. The two new things, but, you know, we st my first day is a pro, yay! But there is still something that I haven't done yet, you know, outside of that. And that was, uh go do the whole catcher's coin thing because I yeah I know I still haven't gotten back to that and there's also golf not golf golf you know because we got that other game cartridge and stuff like that so yeah look at that look at that so I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna go check out in the next part because I'm because chances are golf will take a whole other part in on itself based on its high difficulty of just trying to figure out everything. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I use my pro status to impress everyone in golf. Yes, golf. Not golf, golf. <laughs>